never fold. They roll on the go. Ice hold, ice hold, ice hold. Can't feel my way. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Las Positas College here in Livermore, California for the first of three games between the USA Women's National Team and the National Team of Greece. This is all a precursor to the World Aquatics World Cup that is coming up later this month at Long Beach City College. Greece coming over early for a couple of weeks of common training with Team USA to get ready for that huge World Cup event, which of course is a lead into the World Aquatics World Championships hey, uh, in Japan in July. Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here with you. Welcome poolside to Los Positas College. Capacity crowd on hand ahead of this one as the number one team in the world, Team USA, getting a chance to take on uh, one of their usual rivals in their foe from Greece here tonight. We're gonna be joined by a couple members of the USA Women's National Team. Adam Kikorian selecting a roster of 17 for this series. Three won't dress each night, and tonight we'll get a chance to talk with some of the newer members of Team USA, including Princeton standout, Jovanet Sukulic, and then one of the youngest members of Team USA on her way to USC, Emily Osmus out of ML King in Riverside will also join us as well in the second half. So excited to talk with those two, uh, and then we'll also get a chance to, to see Team USA here tonight. We'll see them again Monday night at Sacred Heart Prep, evening, and then Thursday and night USA we'll get a chance to see them at Stanford University. To to that match live on Valley Sports on networks around the, the country. So we've got the introductions the here coming up now, and uh, we'll get to those, and then we'll get to the start of this One, match here between Team Yamato USA Pink. and Greece. So hang tight Two, as we've got water polo Wimpy. action on the way here from Las Positas College. Four, Nicoletta Elefteriadu. Five, Margarita Clevritu. Six, Elena Shenaki. Seven, Irini Ninu. Eight, Eleni Eleniadi. Nine, Christina Chiuti. Ten, Vasiliki Clevritu. 11, Athena Yanopulu. 12, Maria Mirio Kefalitaki. 13, Joanna Stamatopulu. 14, Elefteria Fudotu. 15, Fotini Triha. The head coach of Greece is Alexia Kamenu. The assistant coach is Anastasios Pirpiris. And the physiotherapist is Stamatios Fotoglu. And now for the United States of America. One. Ashley Johnson. Two, Maddie Musselman. Three, Tara Prentice. Four, Rachel Fatal. Five, Ava Johnson. Six, Maggie Steffens. Seven, Jewel Romer. Eight, Ryan Neuschel. Nine, Denise Mamalito. Ten, Ella Woodhead. Eleven, Bailey Weber. Twelve, Jordan Rainey. Thirteen, Amanda Longin. And fourteen, Jenna Flynn. The head coach of the United States Women's National Team is Adam Krikorian. The assistants are Molly Cahill, Ethan D'Amato, and Chris Odin. The sports medicine manager is Larnie Bokarin, and the team manager is Ali Beck. The referees today are Victoria Mizak and Levon Dermengian, and the delegate is Hadi Farid. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask if you please rise for the playing of the Greek national anthem, and the Star Spangled Banner.
retired athletes please shake hands. The match will begin in two minutes. And welcome back poolside here, just getting set for the start of this one. Our officials in this contest, Victoria Mizak and Lavander Menjian, the delegate Hadi Farid, as Team USA and Greece preparing for the first of a three-game series. As we said earlier, the series continues on Monday night at Sacred Heart Prep in Atherton and then finishes on Thursday evening at Stanford University. So looking forward to uh, the excellent tune-up for Team USA as we see teams go through their lineups and prepare to play for Team USA, defending world champs, defending Olympic champs, Pan American Games champs, World USA Cup champs. They've won all the major tournaments you could possibly want to win, and they are trying to prepare themselves to do it again here this summer in what is now qualification season for the Paris Olympic Games. They'll have opportunities at the World Championships, then the Pan American Games to try and qualify, and if that doesn't work, they'll go to the World Championships in early 2024 in Doha, Qatar, to try and punch their ticket to Paris, which of course is coming up next summer in our 2024 Olympic Games. And now we'll welcome in a member of Team USA, uh, Jovana Sekulic. How are you? Doing okay. Thanks for being here. Hang on a sec. Let's get your mic turned on. Can you hear us now? Yes. Okay, great. Awesome. Uh, well, thanks for joining us. Uh, Thank you for having me. Co Coach K, I know, can only pick so many players to compete uh, so you get a chance to watch tonight, but new to this squad what's it been like for you to be a part of the USA women's senior national team yeah it's been it's been definitely a very special experience uh, hard work but but really enjoyable really fun to be challenged uh, every day um, against the best players in the world so, yeah. no doubt and you're the latest Princeton Tiger to be on this roster <laughs> yes uh, you and Ashley Johnson have you been able to develop a little bit of a relationship here with Ashley yeah uh, I mean, she might not notice, but through tough times, uh, especially when we were in Australia, I turned to her and she she can always make me smile. I just make <laughs> eye contact with her and the things that she says, she's she's so positive and she gives me this energy and everybody else on the team. So it's been really, really nice having her. And your Princeton team, heck yeah. of a season. That yeah. was an epic run in Stockton. You get Thank to the you. semifinals. First time in program history that yeah. the Tigers won their way to the semifinals with that big win over the Cal Bears. What what stands out from that experience? Uh, well, I mean, it, I think, it had to be pretty special. Yeah, um, I think honestly, I think we had some rough times throughout the season, and I think being able to overcome those and then come out like basically on top for us. Yeah. Um, it, it was, it felt really special, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and just being able to, to be there and witness that with all of my best friends. So, yeah. Yeah, very, very cool environment uh, there in Stockton. They, they love water polo. And then for Princeton, that's a little bit unexpected. So it was something yeah. cool for the water polo world to see. Yeah. Something different. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, we're ready to get underway in this one. It's Greece in the blue caps, Team USA in the white caps. Starting for Team USA, Amanda Longin in the cage, Maddie Musselman in the field with Rachel Fatal, Ava Johnson, Ryan Newsham, Denise Mamolito, and Bailey Weber. As Team USA controls here with Bailey Weber, MPSF Player of the Year, coming off a great season with the USC Women of Troy. She was a standout force on offense. As we see Greece here, led by head coach Alexia Kamenu. Maddie Musselman returning to Team USA as well after some time away. Fatal as the shot clock winds down to three. Timer to three. Musselman lets it go. It's up over the cage and away. For Greece, they go with Grisula Diamantopoulou in the cage. Joining her in the field, Eleftheria Plevritu, Joanna Hideriotti, Nicoleta Eleftheridu, Elena Sanaki, Elena Hiliniati, and Christina Sciati. And Greece. Right out of the gate on their first opportunity. That's Sanaki hitting for the first time. And Greece opens up with a 1-0 advantage. We'll get a second look there, catch it on the back end as that one found the cage for Greece here. 
part of this common training series with Team USA ahead of both teams preparing for the World Aquatics World Cup. That'll be an exclusion. So after the ordinary, Idiriati did not back off on the ordinary and was sent off. She's excluded for the first time. So a power play here for Team USA as Weber takes a look. And Musselman, now neutral in a long two meters. Musselman a bobble. Weber knocked down, Fatal field blocked away. Sides will start to come even here momentarily. Flag is out, sides are even. Power play is over. And Team USA still on offense, shot clock to 10. Fatal just off the mark. Reese back on the attack. 6.24 to play, first quarter. It's a 1-0 lead for the squad in blue. Lob attempt, that's off the bar on the try there from Shiati. And Mongan controls as Team USA now on the attack. Here's Fatal now. Looks for Neuschel, that's Ava Johnson in the two meters. Weber goes inside and Ava Johnson called for the offensive. Well, early on here, Jovana, if you're just watching this game for the first time, a lot of physical play. How, how have you had to adjust to, to this level of physicality compared to the college game? Yeah, well, obviously as seen here, the Greeks are being super, super physical and heavy on us, so just anticipating uh, a drive, a release, uh, a grab, uh, playing horizontal is something that uh, Coach Gregorian has been really emphasizing for all the new ones. So yeah, I think I think those fundamentals are just being ready, anticipating, and always kind of preparing for the worst. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, you're right though. They 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 come out heavy here. Yeah, uh, a lot of grabbing, holding here from Reese, not making anything easy. And they seem sharp, you know, sometimes these exhibition series, the team that has to travel the longest comes out a little sluggish, right. but Greece seems uh, rested and ready for action as Weber has that one blocked. Diamantopoulou, yeah. Diamantopoulou there with a stop, facing a little bit of a glare on that end of the pool. Just an ordinary, about three minutes gone by in this first quarter. One nothing lead. Ball knocked away, Longin off her line, aggressively comes out and takes it away. Power play coming for Greece now, exclusion on Longin. The keeper is out, she was over aggressive there coming off her line. Team USA has to pack the cage, trouble here. Greece knocking on the door on this big opportunity on the power play. At the two meter line, stuffed, rebound, and Fatal comes up with it and throws it to the corner. The well, you don't see that very often when the defense is able to hold and your keeper's kicked out. Ryan! Open up, Ryan! You can hear Coach Krikorian asking Nuschel to get open. In the meantime, Musselman draws an exclusion on this end. Liniati going off. Power play now for Team USA. That's Mamalito. Nuschel catch and release. That one is deflected out. Tipped out there by Diamantipulu, the keeper. Nuschel. Sides coming even again. Exclusion coming to a close. Nuschel off the bar. Comes right back to her. 3.36 to play. First quarter, here's Fatal now along two meters. Outside Weber, Mamalito, she'll have a look if she wants it. Timer to seven, they go inside. And heavy there from the Greeks as Ava Johnson draws the power play. The Team USA getting opportunities on the six on five but can't convert, looking for that first goal. Fatal in along two meters. 
They try to go redirect. Weber has that knocked down. And sides are level now. Grace with a lifetime sub here out of the corner. What do you see here defensively from Greece so far? Yeah, so they started out, it seems like they were in running an M, uh, and then an X4 split, uh, trying to trying to get us to shoot on the 4-5 side and then just take off and uh, go on the counter. So I think we've been, I think we've been doing a pretty good job driving through um, using the three. Uh, player um, and and taking our time yeah. like like you saw on that last play Ryan and Maddie and although the clock was was winding, winding down we we were able to to hold our own and, and um, kind of give ourselves some time so well and you talked about it team USA keeps drawing exclusions so they're they're working this defense to their advantage just a matter of converting now looking yeah. for that First goal here, back on the power play once more. Fatal stopped right on the front doorstep. Credit Greece, they continue to have the answers. Fans, don't forget, you can follow along. 68scores.com is the way to follow live stats here. We're under two minutes to go in this first quarter. It's a one nothing lead for Greece. Los Presidas College, our scene. Greece once again on the attack. Double team arrives, they'll give a shot from the outside. Six meters, nothing there. Here's the look and that skip gets away. High bounds from Shiati. Christina Shiuti putting that one away as we come up on 90 seconds to go in this first quarter. Here's Nushal on the attack. Good look, has Weber on the inside but draws a penalty instead. That was a big opportunity for Team USA. Either Nushal could take it and draw that penalty or find Weber who was wide open. She takes it herself, draws the penalty, and Team USA with a chance now to tie things up. Five minute penalty to be taken by two white, Maddie Musselman. Here's Maddie Musselman now. To take this five meter for Team USA to try and level the score. And she does exactly that. So Team USA on the board. Musselman able to hit. Do you enjoy taking penalty shots? Do you get a lot of <laughs> no, opportunity to take those? <laughs> no, yeah. I would rather not. I would rather yeah. draw them and then sure. let, let someone, else let someone like job. Maddie take it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Who's the penalty taker on Princeton? You draw them, who shoots them? Kayla Lensky. Okay. Yeah, Kayla Lensky, yeah. yeah. Reese, the hook shot, that one's off the bar. Creative idea from Maria. But now we'll change directions. Team USA doesn't get far. Medio Kefalataki goes off the bar on that hook shot try. But Reese has it back now after the turnover. Coming up on one minute to play in this first quarter. Yanapulu, outside now, they work it. Plevritu, one of three Plevritu sisters on this squad. Under a minute to go. A look from about four meters. Longin is there. The Park native out of USC takes that down as we come up on 40 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Jenna Flynn is in, that's in the 15 cap. Pours that inside, and somewhere under all that white water was Tara Prentice. She surfaced, but it was taken away. She finally comes up. Reese has it back. Shot clock is off as we've got the final 20 seconds left in this first quarter. Reese has been the aggressor from the beginning. Plevritu tries to go inside, taken away. That's picked off by Drew Wilmer, who's come in. 12 seconds left here. Plenty of time for Team USA to make something happen. Here's Flynn with four seconds left. With two, it's Flynn from long range, and the stop is there from Diamantotulu as we close out this first quarter. Reese coming out strong. Team USA equalizes on the penalty. 
or even a one. We will step aside and come back. You're watching Team USA Water Polo live from Las Positas College. Live on YouTube at YouTube.com slash USA WP. continues to grow on demand. Follow the Cardinal Athletic Spin Center on Facebook and Instagram. Join today. Join today. Whether you played for years or are new to the sport, Team USA Water Polo Athletic Spin Center is here to help you find your next adventure. You played for years or are new to the sport, all are welcome. Stay active with flexible hours while making extra money with competitive rates nationwide. Build a network of new friends that will last a lifetime, all while making a positive impact on youth sports. Make a difference in water polo. Become a referee today. Visit usawaterpolo.org slash referee to learn more. Second quarter underway. Greg Mescal here with you, joined by Team USA as you open up Sakura, Charles of the Prince and the Tiger. Two of New Jersey's finest bringing you this broadcast here in the first half. <laughs> so, you open and you watch that first quarter, and Greece yeah. comes out so, so aggressive. Yeah. If, if you're thinking about your teammates out here, how do you try and meet, meet that aggression? You know, I'm looking at the. Who is that in center defender? Ella, I think. Yeah. yeah, she's fighting. They have two very aggressive centers. One's a lefty, the other one's a righty. Um, and they're very aggressive under the water, and that requires our zone to be flawless. And I think we've been struggling with that a little bit. Um, but I think they'll adapt. And so you talked about it. the centers are tough. They draw a penalty, and now a chance yeah. to go up by one. And that's exactly what happens. It's Irini Ninu after Greece draws that penalty, and they're able to convert. And so Greece now goes in front 2-1. Again, live scores via, via 68scores.com. And now here's Ella Woodhead, fresh off an NCAA championship with the Stanford Cardinal. Scored a huge goal late in that game. Jill Romer, Jenna Flynn, all part of that Stanford squad. Ryan Nusch, a lot of NCAA champs here competing for Team USA. Maggie steps it towards inside. They went the wrong way to Tara Prentice, and she converts and makes it 2-2. That was really nice. Maggie, Maggie drew both of those defenders kind of to her, and it left Tara wide open for that 6-2 that shot. You know, Maggie Steffens drives, you got to pay attention. Yeah. So that's oh, going to yeah. draw a crowd. Minute gone by, second quarter. Team USA and Greece, first of three in this exhibition series leading up to the World Aquatics World Cup at Long Beach City College. 
Reese working along two meters now on the outside. Good no look on the inside, but Team USA ready. And very similar to the way we saw Greece converge on those entry passes in the first quarter. Team USA was there with three white yeah. caps. I think they had an entry when some of their players were trying to drive, and I think that cost them that, that steal. Here's Flynn. Steffens calling for the ball. Wants it. Looking to turn. Goes hook shot. Ricocheted off the crossbar. The NBA Finals. We're seeing a lot of hook shots here. With the ball. That's the second one. Maggie Steffens trying to get rid of it. Now hurry is off the mark. And we come this direction. That's Greece in the dark caps. Moving right to left on your screen. Cruising in to five meters. But a field block is there. Nice block. That's excellent work from Jewel Romer. She makes the field block, and look at Romer. She is Romer sprinting down the pool, and now will beat the recipient. Here's Romer, Romer. moving in, two on one, developing. Romer. Romer takes a look, cross cage is on the money. For Jewel Romer, Team Jewel USA Romer. takes their first lead. They're in front now, 3-2. USA leads 3-2 with 5.49 to go in the And you gotta love it from Jewel Romer. I mean, she started on this end with the field block and with then the finished field on block. the other end. Yeah. Way to hustle, Jewel. Five forty-nine to play. First half. Hideriati. Now they go to the corner. We go to. Looking inside once again. And that's tipped out by Longin. Talked about working in for that lefty center. Sanaki got good position, but it's tipped away. It'll come back in. Shot clock to 20 with just about five and a half to play in the first half. Team USA leading Greece 3-2. Team USA giving Greece the outside shot that ricochets off the post on the Plevritu attempt. That was Vasiliki from the outside. Three Plevritu sisters on this squad, the oldest, the captain, Margarita. Here's Rainey, now Romer. Long cross pass. Flynn goes up to get that. Woodhead. Ella takes a look. Timer to three. Tries lob. That was caught at two meters. Hauled in by Plevritu, the captain. Here's Johnson defending out high. Five against five. Few fakes, shot clock to two. That's off the post. Rebound and Flynn is there. Seems like the Team USA defense now getting a little sharper here in the second quarter. Perhaps a positive thing by me. Four minutes to go, first half. Here's Woodhead. Robert, little no look on the inside to Johnson, and she'll draw an exclusion. Johnson going on five dark, Margarita Plevritu, her first personal power play opportunity for USA. Steffens now. Six on five for Team USA. They struggled in the first quarter converting, got the opportunity, just couldn't put him away. Steffens has that one blocked. Save there for Diamantopoulou. Govina, you played your back to the goal. How, how difficult is it to go back down there time and time again and keep drawing exclusions when the defenders are hanging all over you? Honestly, you, you just really got to keep your legs going, uh, stay above the water, and show that hold. Uh, but but that, that exclusion, I fully, I fully give the credit to Jewel. That was a beautiful no-look yeah. no look entry, and that, that gave Ava that extra second or two to, to go towards the ball and, and draw that exclusion. Romer across the way to Flynn. Three minutes to play, first half. Rainey. 
Shot clock to five. Romer shot and hits. Will Romer has two. And Team USA builds on their lead now in front 4-2. You get a chance to practice with these women, and this is obviously no knock on your Princeton team that is really, really good, but how, how inspiring is it to play with women that are so good in every position? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I, it's very, very inspiring. Yeah. Uh, it's also very challenging, but sure. but I think you gotta be tough to to be a part of this team, and and you gotta love it, and and I think we do, and and it gives us the energy to to keep going and to fight against I, I, each other and make each other better. Sure, sure, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, solution here on Weber. 2.20 to go in the yeah, first half. Yeah, they're in the 3-3 now. Okay, a little 3-3 action here. Cage is taking a beating here tonight. A lot of ricochets. That's a field block this nice time. Block. And Musselman is there as the sides come even. USA gets another five on six stop. And he's to 0 for 2 on the power play. Good look there from our Game On Live Studios crew, taking you down the pool with the action. Great, great angle. Musselman. Addy nice. Musselman. And the goal for two right, Maddie Musselman. First second of the game gives the United States a 5 2 lead. With UCLA Bruin turned Temple Owl, Owl hitting from the outside. And this is just good passing and Musselman able to, to get a nice lane. The defenders drop off, they're going to give Manny that shot. Yeah. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. <laughs> One thirty to go in this first half. Jovanus Kulic, Greg Meskel here with you from Las Positas College. Entry in, beautiful turn, what a power move. Show them how it's done, Maria. Medio Kefalataki. That's tough stuff right there. Second look. really tough. It's a very nice turn. And able to bobble there, Longin came out, she was able to regather, getting one back. Six eight scores .com, by the way, the place to go to get your live stats throughout this one. Oh, God. <laughs> what did you see there? What happened? <laughs> no, this hard defender was really grabbing Tara at the center. <laughs> That was the visceral reaction of someone who plays center, Yovana <laughs> Sakut. They go back into Tara, and the shot clock about to expire, and knocked away. A 5-3 lead here for Team USA, 36 seconds left. Shot clock to 10. From the outside, timer to five. That one's off the mark. Fans, don't forget, coming up at halftime, we're going to honor some of our Hall of Famers. We had our 2023 Hall of Fame induction earlier today right here in Pleasanton. And we'll have a couple of Team USA Olympians. Nicole Payne, Corley Simmons in the house. Is Rachel Fatal moving in. Speaking of Olympians, she is triple teamed, and that's knocked away. That's excellent help defense from Greece. Team USA looking for a penalty. They came over to help. They get the steal, but with the way World Aquatics is officiated, that was probably a penalty call. There was an attack from the behind. The college water polo, if Fatal still had the ball, they wouldn't have called it. But nonetheless, that's how this first half comes to an end. Team USA leads it 5-3.
uh, Jovan Sekulic. Thanks for, for joining us here in this first yes, half. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Uh, best of luck here with Team USA and uh, in, in your travels back to the Garden State. Uh, I didn't get to ask you nearly as much New Jersey trivia as I would like, so we'll do that next time. Okay, sounds good. Right. Thank you so much. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back with more here from Las Positas College. This June 30th to July 2nd, the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. Get your tickets today. USA Waterpolo.org. Welcome back. Full side here in Las Positas. A cool moment coming up here as we honor some of our Hall of Fame inductees. Corley Simmons, Nicole Payne, Aaron Chaney. Corley Simmons, 2000 Olympic silver medalist. Nicole Payne, a 2000 and 2004 Olympic medalist. Silver in Sydney bronze in Athens. And then Aaron Chaney, Hall of Famer and a two-time Olympic referee. He was the U.S. official in 2004 and 2008. And so going to have a little ceremonial ball drop here. Adam Gordon. Joining his fellow UCLA Bruins, Cora Lee and Nicole Brown, uh, Nicole Payne, excuse me, uh, and then Ken Smith, the Punahou legend, here on the mainland with Aaron Chaney. And here's a look at the crew. That's Aaron Chaney in the Hawaii sweatshirt, Nicole Payne in the blue, and Cora Lee Simmons in the black jacket. Adam Krikorian, head coach of USA Water Polo. Alexia Kamenu, the head coach of Greece. And the legendary head coach at Punahou, Ken Smith. 
So that's uh, Team USA head coach Adam Krikorian and Greece head coach Alexia Kamenu to help do this ceremonial opening sprint. Aaron Chinney knows a thing or two about the ball drop. Long time high level referee and with perfection places it in the water. One more time for our so again, a Simmons, and warm team. congratulations to our 2023 Hall of Fame class, including Corley Sims, Nicole Payne, Aaron Cheney, two-time Olympian Peter Varalis, and East Bay High School and Club Coaching legend Ron Richardson was a great event earlier today in Pleasanton. Thanks to all who joined. There will be more information, a recap, all the videos at youtube.com slash USAWP. All the tribute pieces that honored all those deserving contributors to the world of USA Water Polo. As now we're underway to start this second half. Team USA in the white caps, Greece in the blue. Team USA leading 5-3. Here's Musselman. Working out of Ryan Neuschel. Goes to Weber. Shot clock to six. That's an ordinary foul. Team USA running out of time. Musselman with one. She's out to six. Ooh, that's a defensive. We'll have a push off there. Let's turn over. And with that, welcome in Emily Osmus. Emily, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing all right, thanks for being here with us. Uh, appreciate you taking some time. It's part of uh, your training here with Team USA. I asked uh, your team at Yovana earlier, but I'll ask you the same thing. What's what's it been like for you? You're, you're a relatively new member to this senior group. What's it been like to be a part of Team USA at the highest level? It's definitely been really exciting. Um, I would say it's definitely a new level of water polo, and it's just a great experience, and all the girls are very nice and very competitive, which brings it to a new level, which is great. I can remember a Team USA tournament in Florida years ago where you were the youngest woman on that team and now you're again you have this habit of becoming the youngest player because you're so talented you get a chance to play up how do you how do you fit in when you're with some of these older women I think just connecting with them on water polo outside of water polo whether it's certain hobbies that we have and I think just like pushing each other to our limits is yeah. what helps me get through it and just these amazing people are also great and there's no doubt your game speaks for itself and uh, awesome to have you here with Team USA is they're on the advantage now around the way Fatal Neuschel catch and release rebound Fatal sides coming even but they'll go back to work here's Fatal now along two meters Neuschel knocked down shot clock to 12 Musselman Offensive, that was in at two meters. That was Johnson. The fives have been battling. Play to Ava Johnson. You take a look there on your screen of Greece head coach Kamenu sharing her thoughts with the bench. As Greece now back on the attack. Two minutes gone by, third quarter. Good no-look pass, what a turn. Longgain punches it up and comes up with the stop and then tangled up. Who says goalies never have to get involved with physical play? I mean, Longgain got a tangle there. And now here's Weber. Fatal attacking, puts it high. And Emily, as we're watching this, you can just hear the talking. How, how important is it to be a communicator in the water? It's really important to communicate, just especially at the wings, um, just communicating what you see in front of you. And sometimes you're just swimming and trying to catch up to your player. It's great to have your teammates there and tell you where to go or to communicate what to do because sometimes you just it's really hard in there and yeah. just trying to get through. So you you really appreciate it when someone is telling you like, hey, go here, watch for this. Yes, I love it. Yeah. Penalty called here against Team USA. Five meter coming up and that one just beating Amanda Longin from Elefteria Clevritu. 
And so Greece with their second penalty shot score draws back within one now at 5-4. Emily Osmus, Greg Meskel here with you from Las Positas College, the first of three between Team USA and Greece. We're back at it Monday night. 6 p.m. start at Sacred Heart Prep. That match is already sold out, but we'll have it for you here, courtesy of Game On Live. We'll be live on youtube.com slash USAWP. And then tickets still available for Thursday, June 15th at Stanford University. Expecting a great crowd on hand as we honor Melissa Seidemann. She's retiring from water polo after three Olympic golds. And that match will be live on Bally Sports around the country and in the Bay Area, right here on youtube.com slash USAWP. Shot clock to five. Steffens pours it in. Big battle. Oh, Prentice took an extra shove there. Tara Prentice in a battle in a two meters. Jenna Flynn has that one off the bar into the stands. Now, we talked with the opener earlier, Emily. She's a two meter. You don't have to mix it up down there that much. How much admiration do you have for the centers and the way they have to fight in battle? Oh, it's definitely really difficult. I. I remember just playing one position at center defender and I was struggling to get down to the other <laughs> side. It's definitely a different aspect of the game and different type of conditioning that you have to be in. So great kudos to them. No doubt, no doubt. That shot sailing wide from Ninu. 5-4 game. Team USA ahead. Reese jumped out early. Team USA has found their way back. That entry pass tipped away as they were trying to work for Prentice once more. Good fight here for Greece. That entry inside, ordinary. Shot clock to four. Beautiful precision accuracy. Irini Ninu from the outside. Sometimes there are just shots that are really good and, and tough to stop. That's high upper 90. If you can put it there, it's, it's going to be hard for any defense to stop it. Yeah, most definitely. That's what you try and do in all your shots, right? Just always upper corner yep. away from the goalie in the defense? Yeah. Three fifteen to play, third quarter. That pass is deflected. Romer gets it right back. Shot clock to six. And there's a penalty. Trying to go over the top to Maggie Steffens. And a penalty shot coming here from Team USA. Jenna Flynn will take this shot. Flynn trying to give Team USA the lead back. She does exactly that. It's a 6-5 lead once again for Team USA after Greece battle back to tie things up. I know not only in addition to playing water polo, you're a fan of water polo. What's it like to, to play with women that you watched? I mean, you're watching Maggie Stephens, watching Ashley Johnson, how to play with them. How's that experience been for you? It's definitely a dream come true. I mean, they've definitely been a huge role models growing up and still in the water and just getting to practice and play with them every day is just an amazing experience for one to grow up and do. Yeah, very, very cool. 2.45 to play, third quarter. Long and lets that one go as the shot's high from Larito. Short, short. Uh, no pass there. Good, Jenna. Here's jump, Romer. Zero, jump. Rainy along two meters looking for an angle. Not there. Romer has two already. Can't get a third. That was tipped out. Reese has brought in their reserve keeper, Stamatapulu, in the 13 cap. So she's on after Diamantapulu played the first half. So 
but work it back once again. Entry inside and an exclusion. Five meter penalty for call. Penalty shot coming up from the United States. Penalty foul on three guards. So initially that was an exclusion call, but then upgraded to a penalty as Maggie Stephens was going to have an opportunity on the inside. And so now Team USA will get the penalty try, and Jill Romer can go for the hat trick here to try and give Team USA the 7 5 lead. Does exactly that. Second look at Jewel Romer able to hit. You talked about trying to be a part of this team and playing with some of the older women. I thought it was so uh, fun. The team honored you on a recent trip. You had missed, was it prom that you missed yes. on a trip? How, how cool was that when they? make little gestures to try and make you feel included. It was great. I Ashley was my roommate in Greece and she's like, hey Maggie wants you to come over to look at some like wedding dresses and I was like, <laughs> oh okay. Like sure. And then I like walked over and the lights are off and I was like, wait a minute. And then they just started their whole celebration for me, which was great. Greece gets the look on the inside and puts it home. Nushal wanted a call not to be Greece getting it back. Second look there. When, when they do things like that, how does that make it a little bit easier to sacrifice missing these these really fun moments at home? Oh, it makes it a lot easier. Just knowing that you're surrounded with people who really care about you, not only about the sport, but about you as a person. And it's just a great. Yeah, that was very, very cool. And that got shared uh, far and wide on social media. So a lot of people saw that. Uh, probably more people saw that than if you had actually gone to the real prom and took a photo. So yes, exactly. that, and that helps at all. <laughs> Here's Nushal on the lob. That's just off the bar. <laughs> and the rebound gathered by Stamatopoulou as we come up on one minute to go in the third quarter. Good one here between Team USA and Greece. One goal game. Greece led early. Team USA has led by as many as two. That's skin, long and ready with the left, bats that one away. And Dries hanging tough here in this third quarter. Six against six here. Stefan's defending, shot clock to eight. Kidiriati from the outside. They're working around with three, and Longin has another stop. And now 25 seconds left. About a three-second difference. Shot and game clock. The lob attempt on the money. Ryan Nuschel before the Greece defense can get there. See that second effort there from Hideriati to try and pull that out of the cage, but not in time. Nuschel adds, and Team USA is in front, 8-6. Shot clock is off, final possession here in this third quarter. Fatal defending. A tussle, Musselman going for it, not the case. Fatal coming over, takes it away with five seconds left. And Team USA got a shot off here. Fatal with four. Musselman spins and with two, she'll let it fly and that's over the cage. We are through three quarters here in Livermore. We will take a timeout, we'll come back with the fourth and final. Team USA leading Greece 8-6, you're watching live on USA Water Polo's YouTube channel.
next Olympian might be coming from, but it could be water polo, and that starts with Splash Ball. Splash Ball is a program for children ages 5 through 9 designed to introduce them to the sport of water polo while promoting water safety. Improve swimming skills and learn a sport you'll love for a lifetime. For more information, visit SplashBallUSA.org. Fourth quarter on the way. Team USA leading Greece, 8-6. Emily Osmus, Greg Mesko here with you from Las Positas College. Don't forget to join us Monday night, right here on youtube.com slash USAWP, 6 p.m. start, Pacific time. Here's Musselman, Nushal now. Tries to go inside, but that was field blocked away. Emily Team USA, they got back in front, 8-6. What's in your mind, maybe one or two keys to try to close this game out? I think definitely defense is key. I think finishing possessions and just beating them on the defensive side and everything is connected in water polo. So I think just um, continuing the defensive effort and then that translates into our transition and offense, which will ultimately help us. Defense turning into offense. Totally agree. Lob attempt here, beautiful shot. You have to give Greece credit here. They have, they have made some nice looking shots as well. That one goes in for Eleftiria Plevritu. In an 8-7 game, replay here, courtesy of Game On Live, and the lob is on point. Shout out to our, our producer, Sean Stringham, on the wheels of steel to my left here, making everything go as we are a minute deep in the fourth quarter. Amelito, so close that skip went off. The post almost found the far corner on the cross cage attempt. And now Greece with a chance to equalize. Musselman, the long arms of Matty Musselman. Leveritu wanted a call. Instead, it's number two in white coming up with it. Musselman now leads the break. Into the offensive end. Switching hands. Just an ordinary. Now Nushal. Here's Weber. Knocked down. Shot clock to three. Musselman has that one field blocked away. The defense from Vasiliki Plevritu coming across. Just an ordinary there. And if Tandre do controlling inside water here, this is a problem. Surging towards the cage and a penalty. Five meter drawn by. Medio Kefalataki got inside water and then knew how to play it. Let that defense come in from behind on the attack. And Teriadu coming in for the five meter. 
Lonkin got some, needed all, and we're tied at eight. So just that fast, Reese has chipped away here. They have tied this game up at eight. Team USA, I mean, of course, wanting to win this match, but how important is it just to have actual live competition? You really can't replicate this in practice. Yeah, it's great. It definitely, in games, it's more pressure, more of a crowd. It um, definitely makes it more like to our tournaments, which are really key, and we have an important one coming up this summer, so it's important to replicate those games. World Aquatics World Cup coming to Long Beach in a couple of weeks, then the World Aquatics World Championships in Japan in July. Busy summer for Team USA. Apprentice. Tara not playing. Got it on the inside. Rip it and rip it. It's a 9-8 lead for Team USA. UC Irvine Anteater cashing in. And that's good stuff from Prentice. Reese has been so quick to come with a crash. Tara didn't give him any time. Took it and immediately went to the cage. 9-8 lead. Seesaw battle here, 5.15 to go. Fourth quarter. Out of grabbing still. That was a skip from the outside. Cliff Ritu sails it. Longin pushing to Musselman. Stefan's cruising inside. Easy, easy, easy. asking his group to balance things out, pump the brakes momentarily. Prentice on the inside. Rainey gives a look, and Prentice tries to repeat it. Instead, finds a roamer, faking, and tipped out. Stamatapulu is there with the fingertips. Push that one out. With 4.36 remaining. And that was an easy exclusion call as the defender for Prentice before the ball even came in. That was really naughty. Just pushed her down on the shoulders. And now Team USA will call for time as their initial try there on the six on five was thwarted but they maintain possession. As we get a bring us back to the poor side here, Emily Osmus, Greg Nesco here with you as we get a timeout for uh, Team USA and Adam Krikorian. Not to put you in Coach K's shoes, but what do you, what do you think they're gonna talk about in a timeout like this if you had to guess? I think just taking your time and setting up your teammates um, on the six on five and just in general, you watch and they're in an all zone, basically everybody's off. So I think just setting up your teammates, whether it's the center or drawing your defender and giving um, your, one of your teammates more space, I think that's really key. Um, I think just making the shot obvious, whoever is open and just giving them space and setting up your teammates is kind of what I would like to talk about. Good assessment as we prepare for Team USA on the attack out of this timeout. 4.25 to go in the fourth quarter. Nine eight, Team USA on the power play. That's Rainey, the Stanford grad. Here's Musselman, a bobble, gets it back. Romer now, timer to two, they gotta go. It's Randy off the bar, the rebound, tracked down. Stephens is there, sides have come even. Power play is over as we are halfway through this fourth quarter. Romer takes a peek at two meters. That's Musselman now posting up. Shot clock to two and Musselman has that tipped away. And now Greece will call for time with 3.43 to play in the fourth quarter, down one. And we've seen, of course, Ava Johnson, Tara Prentice going two meters, but the team is rotating a lot of players in. We've seen Manny Muscle in post up, Maggie Steffens. Versatility to be on this team seems to be a necessary trait. Yes, most definitely. I think other than our centers, every player has to be able to play every spot, and obviously our goalies, but um, 
yeah, definitely very key to be a part of the team, play offense and defense, and just doing little things that help attribute to the team. When you watch a game like this, how, how uh, excited does it make you to get out there in the next game and, and get your opportunity to, to put your impact on the game? It makes me very excited. Like, just watching from the outside, it's not the same from playing in the water, and it's just an amazing experience, and at times it's hard, but it's definitely worth it. Do a lot of games with Brenda Villa, you know, who you know, and uh, she still will watch a game as if maybe she would want to be out there playing. Mm -hmm. She sees something and says, "Ooh, whoa!" Uh. I said, "Brenda, what are you singing?" She said, "They should have passed here. They should have did that." Mm -hmm. uh, once a player, always a player. And I, I can only imagine how hard it is to watch some of this. So, looking forward to seeing you back out there soon. 3:33 to play here in the fourth. And it's a 9-8 game, and Greece turns it over. It's an offensive foul. They were coming out of the timeout and couldn't connect there offensively. Now Romer. Here's Fatal. Jewel gives a look. Goes to Fatal. Fatal, a variety of fakes. It's Musselman. Rainey. No stop there from Stamatopoulou, who went high of the cage. And we play on, 3.05 to go in the fourth. I left Terry do. Inside, oh good look, that's a beautiful pass. Looking for a step out, Rainey, excellent defense there from Jordan Rainey. She wouldn't let anything happen on that pass that came into Sanaki. After it looked as if Sanaki had inside of water as she was moving towards the near post, but Rainey hung tough. Now Fatal. That's Musselman driving across. It's back to Fatal, the Seal Beach native. No look on the inside. That was Romer looking for Nuschel. Tipped away, stolen away by Greece. With 2.12 to go in the fourth quarter. Greece again looking for the equalizer. <laughs> Offensive. Offensive. So a couple of times now, Greece has been looking for that Tying nice goal and counter. a little over aggressive. They commit the turnover and out Fatal. A chance to go up by two. She puts on the brakes at two meters. Good look to Musselman filling a lane. And Maddie Musselman has that knockdown and save. Stamatopoulou is there with another. And a timeout is called by Kimenu. How do you handle the nerves here? 90 seconds to go. It's only a one goal game. If you think back to games you've played in, high school club, national team. Do you get nervous in a moment like this? Do you love a moment like this? How do you think about it? Um, definitely get nervous in a moment like this, but I love that nervousness. Um, I think just taking some deep breaths, communicating with your teammates during this time, and just make sure you're on the right page. And um, obviously you kind of assume what's gonna happen and kind of just adjusting to that and just taking it by every second and just communicating with your teammates and just getting through the play and getting a stop is definitely what you focus on. Before we get back to the action, I have to ask you, you've been able to draw some of your older teammates into your social media world. I've seen your TikToks with Kelly Gilchrist. What What is the key to executing a perfect TikTok? I think honestly just adding your own little pizzazz or in taking a trend or something and creating that with your friends and just adding a little something or a little um, just something to make it your own and just make it fun and a fun experience. Don't miss Emily's uh, TikTok around the new Junior Olympics Shieldy t-shirt. It was very well done to a Lizzo song. In the meantime, we're back to live action here. 123 to play in the fourth. Greece looking to tie things up. From the outside, Longin. And Musselman. And maneuver to get back and keep that inbounds. Now, complaint here from Coach Kemenu saying that should have been out of bounds. And we should have a second opportunity. 
but instead it's Team USA with one minute to go. A goal here would likely put this one away. It's Romer. Shot clock to three. Entry in, exclusion. Oh, the Greeks can't believe it. Six on five coming as Maggie Steffens draws the power play. Glavritu going out, Fatal now. Timer to 10. Field block. Field block down. Oh, Greece again. Such strong defense here, especially on the Team USA six on five. Looking to equalize in the final 20 seconds. Just a two second difference, shot and game clock. Working inside. They've still got time. Tough angle, Longin comes out. Greece lost the handle, and they'll say last touch Greece. So Team USA gets it back. Wasn't sure there if Longin had tipped that out. They say no, and Team USA is going to hang on and do the win. Greece not happy, but Team USA picks up the 9-8 win. Emily Osmus, thanks so much for joining us here. We hope to see you back in the pool Monday night. Yes, thank you so much. All right, Emily Osmus from Team USA stopping by. In the meantime, the U.S. picks up the victory 9-8 over Greece. As we look back at some of our numbers here, courtesy of 6-8 scores, Jules Romer, three goals to lead the way for Team USA. Maria Media Kevlataki with two. Again, our next for the Greece squad will be June 12th. Monday night. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll chat with a member of Team USA as the U.S. picks up the 9-8 win to open up this three-game series with Greece. The sport continues to grow nationwide, and refs are a vital part of that expansion. Join today. Whether you played for years or are new to the sport, all are welcome. Stay active with flexible hours while making extra money with competitive rates nationwide. Build a network of new friends that will last a lifetime, all while making a positive impact on youth sports. Make a difference in water polo. Become a referee today. Visit usawaterpolo.org. It's more than just a game. It's the toughest sport in the water. This is where you're tested. This is where champions are made. This is where every moment matters. Pointing at our camera because Jill Romer is here. Jill, right into the pool, uh, three three goals here for Team USA. Greece gave you a good fight from the start. T tell me about just kind of the physical nature of this game right from the jump. Yeah, Greece is a great team. Um, they love to be physical. We um, just try to stay away. And whenever we play a game, it's always a, another level with them. So just trying to come out from the beginning and hit them too at the same time. Now. Uh, Greece jumped out early. Team USA builds a two-goal lead. Greece comes back to tie. What, what's the conversation like in that fourth quarter? How is Team USA able to 
keep composed and pull away? Just one possession at a time, one stop at a time. We really focus on our defense and we pride, on, pride ourselves on our defense and we just want to get one stop and then counter and then take it from there. Uh, when a team is going to run a zone and is going to dare you to shoot from the outside, how much do you relish the chance to say like, okay, you want us to shoot, I'll shoot? <laughs> yeah, we really try to like set each other up and um, when they're in a drop, yeah, it's easier to pass the ball around, but it's also harder to maybe like open up our centers. So we really just try to like work on our ball fakes and extra passes to really set each other up. You just finished your college season. Did you get a nap in? Like, was there any break between Stockton and this? Yeah, like four days. <laughs> four, four days, four days. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, well, Jewel, this is kind of a tune-up for the, for the World Cup. How important are the next two games in this series to kind of gear up for what's going to happen in Long Beach? They're super important for us. We're a very young team, and we're all new playing together, and so any experience we can get it will be great. Awesome. Uh, Jewel Romer, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you Monday night. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Jewel Romer joining us here. We'll let her go warm down, and we'll take a break and come back and wrap things up here from Las Positas College. Thank you. Thanks, Joel. The sport continues to grow nationwide, and refs are a vital part of that expansion. Join today. Whether you played for years or are new to the sport, all are welcome. Stay active with flexible hours while making extra money with competitive rates nationwide. Build a network of new friends that will last a lifetime, all while making a positive impact on youth sports. Make a difference in water polo. Become a referee today. Visit usawaterpolo.org slash referee to learn more. And welcome back here, Las Positas College, Livermore, California. That's going to do it for us here tonight. Thanks so much for tuning in. Team USA gets the win by one over Greece. We're just getting started. This is the beginning of a gauntlet of water polo. So make sure you come back and join us Monday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here at youtube.com slash USAWP. Game two of USA and Greece. And then Thursday night, June 15th at Stanford. If you're in the area, get your tickets now. We're going to honor three-time Olympic gold medalist Melissa Seidemann as she retires. Uh, if you can't be there, the game will air live in the Bay Area right here again on YouTube, but around the country on Valley Sports Channels in the Northeast on MSG Network. So we're excited to bring another national television broadcast to the water polo community. And again, if you're in town, get tickets. If not, we'll see you on the broadcast. I'll be joined by the Olympic medalist, Natalie Benson. You knew her as Natalie Golda when she was in the pool. And then from there, it's the World Aquatics World Cup. Tickets are on sale for both of these events. The women's event up first, June 23 and through 25 at Long Beach City College. The men the following week at the University of Southern California, June 30th to July 2nd. Get your tickets now. It is literally going to be fantastic water polo. Some of the best countries in the world are coming to the U.S. It does not happen often that the U.S. gets to host an event of this caliber, and we've got two of them back-to-back, -back. so uh, you really can't beat it when it comes to international water polo. Get your tickets now. Looking forward to seeing you in Southern California for all those events. In the meantime, that's all for us here tonight for Sean Stringham and our entire Goals production crew. Greg Messel saying so long. We'll see you back here Monday night in Atherton for Team USA and Greece.